Greetings fellow nerds. In this video we're going to use electrochemistry to add brilliant color to this otherwise bland and colorless silver bar without using any paint. This process is called anodizing. First, we need to make the anodizing solution. We start with about half a cup of water and add two tablespoons of sodium hydroxide and one tablespoon of sulfur. Both of these chemicals are easily bought online. Then we stir for about 10 minutes, which will time lapse for this video. At the end, we get this orange solution of sulfur and sodium hydroxide, which is highly corrosive, so always wear gloves when working with it. Next, we filter the anodizing solution to remove any excess sulfur. You can use a coffee filter for this process. Now we have our anodizing solution ready to color our silver bar. Here is our brand new silver bar. Place the silver bar into the solution. Next, you'll need a battery to generate the anodizing potential. Now connect the positive terminal of the battery to the silver piece, and when you're ready, touch the negative wire to the surface of the solution, but not to the actual silver piece. As you can see, it doesn't take much time to start adding color to the bar. Okay, let me take it out and show you what we have. I'm going to wash it for a better look. As you can see, in just a few seconds we've added decades of tarnish to the bar and turned it a brown color with blue highlights. If we keep going, we can continue changing its color. So let's do that. Looks like we got some sort of green blue color this time. Let me give it a rinse. As you can see, the length of time it takes to anodize determines the color of the silver. Let's go on for a few more seconds and see what happens. I move the negative wire around the bar to give it an even coat. Otherwise, the part closest to the wire will anodize faster than the rest. Looks like we got some kind of dull gray color now. Okay, another round. I'm not certain how to describe this one. A uh, blue-purple color? Okay, once we get this matte black color, further anodizing will no longer give us a color change. Now I said before I need to move the wires because the part closest to the wires will anodize faster than the rest. So what happens if I don't move them? Let's find out with this new silver bar. As you can see we've gotten this rainbow effect as the parts closest to the wire change color more than the farthest parts. Pretty cool, eh? Thanks for watching another Nerd Rage original video. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.